Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bored to Death podcast where um, the main host has asked me to make a pun at the start but unfortunately I cannot think of it instead I'm just going to let John regret even putting me as a guest host in the first place uh, Today we have three very special guests um, some homies that I've known for many years now uh, We'll just get straight to it So um, we have Miles here Hello uh, We have Max and we have Ollie Say what up guys what are we on? What one? So let's just get straight into it. Um, so, what got you guys into skating in the first place? We'll just start with you, Miles. What got me into skating? I, I, we were talking about this on the bus on the way in. Save it for the podcast. We, we, we kept doing saying, that. We kept like, going over. Perfect rehearsal. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess I just um, kind of a cliche. Got a skateboard when I was really young. And didn't have a smooth driveway, so I used to put it on the sort of like pebble driveway and just like muck about on it, and then eventually kept it going. Well, like sort of like stationary tricks that you're practicing. I wouldn't call it tricks. I'd say more like, you know, that one where you walk from <laughs> like the nose across the board to the tail and then make it like flick up behind you or something. There is a sort Doing of a lot of that. There's a sort of name for that trick though, isn't there? Yeah, that's the Milo spin. <laughs> yeah. Milo spin. <laughs> we'll call it that. Um, Max, all about yourself. Um, I think before skateboarding, it was finding a way to make my mum like wince. <laughs> was maybe what got me into it. Going fast, being a little. I saw the Goofy movie, mm -hmm. and I wanted to. Fucking good movie. Yeah, I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to be like that, Max. So yeah, I, I started skating because of. It, it just made my mum stressed and. Like, that's not a good thing, but when you're five and, like, mm. yeah, that was pretty fun. That's probably what got me into it. Did it just start off with a Pepsi? That's all you wanted was a Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and all she got me was this shitty skateboard. And yeah. I, I was like, skateboard, man. Skateboarding's lame anyway. Well, because you were, like, doing a bit of BMXing before, though, weren't you? Yeah, I, well, so I was definitely skating before I was... See, it's kind of a grey area. I learned to ride a bike when I was, like, five, but also was skateboarding around then as well. So BMX was more like was later on, I guess. I skated before a BMX. Nice, nice. And uh, Ollie, yeah. Uh, so for me, it was like I don't know. I always had a board when I was younger. Like from I was probably like six till like nine, I had like one of those cheap boards that everyone started on, kind of thing. But it wasn't until I moved to to Kent I started riding penny boards because i lived on this massive hill mm -hmm. and me and my brother he he had a much bigger longboard version and he'd zoom down the hill and i always wanted to be as good as him but he's he was always better at like cruising about um and then i think i got my first board on like a a trip to spain with the school like spent all my money on it um everyone else was like last couple of days going to get mm. food and stuff at restaurants and i was just like skating in the fucking car park or in, in the actual hotel um and then I kind of stopped when I came back here when I was at the uh, end of high school. Just had no motiv motivation to do anything. That's like me. I did that as well. I didn't. I could ollie roll around. That's all I ever wanted. Well, that, Dave, did you ever take a hiatus? Uh, I actually did, yeah. Um, so I was like quite on it since 12. And actually saying that, I got my first proper skateboard in Spain as well. Mm, that's uh, mad. Yeah, we're, um, my mom took Represent me. Represent Espana de Mallorca. I know. <laughs> my, mom, my mom was taking me and my sister over uh, to Malaga to see my auntie, like her sister. And um, just went to this massive sports centre. And I got like, you know, you get like fracture in the UK. It was yeah. like a starter board. It was like called Oxello. It was like their equivalent. Mm. But, oh, um, the decathlon bad yeah. boys. But then I did that at 12 and then I did that consistently until I was like maybe, I don't know, like 20, like 19. And then I joined the band and then I just kind of like forgot about skating for like two years and then the band was a bit shit. So that is like the most rock and roll lifestyle. Like had to quit skating. Yeah, I had to give up to skating go to go like play music and <laughs> have loads of sex. And nah. by the way, do pretty well. Was that Nazari? Yeah, yeah that was that Nazari. Yeah, band. man. Um, I like that band. Good band. Um, That's better than any band I've ever been in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everyone else. So is Miles band, band actually. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> everyone else in that band is doing their own thing. Anyone that's been um, in a band ever is better than any band I've ever been in. Yeah. They're doing their own thing. I think they're called fucking 
first aid kit or something. I don't fucking care, man. <laughs> Some um, Guitar Hero ass name, like when you're playing World Tour and you're like, "What am I gonna call my?" Oh, uh, no exit, because you're sitting next to that fire escape. The destroyers. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, when I was having a really shit time doing that, I don't feel leave. <laughs> that was a fucking great <laughs> so bad. I wish they were real, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was like, it was... The um, what diapers? Loaded... Oh, sorry, dude. Uh, loaded diaper for Wimpy Kid. Yeah, loaded, loaded diapers. Yeah, 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 fictional... Loaded diaper. <laughs> <laughs> fictional band, but like, not fictional fandom. Honestly, watch that trilogy, man. It's the fucking best thing ever. But um, yeah, it was like the start of like 2019, uh, I just got back in skiing because I was such a shit time and then I was just, even little things man, like you know, we were going to like record in Glasgow, like you know, I don't know, you heard the song that I put out before, Spoiled Milk, mm. we were recording that as soon as I was done bass fight, I just abandoned the studio because it was next to like Kelvin Grove Skate Park, I just <sighs> went there. And they were just like, oh man, you fucking stay for the process, like yeah, I'd love to fucking watch you play guitar and over and over again for two hours to it get it right. or I could just process. go to a perfectly good skate park when during the summer and just have the fucking time of my life Yeah, and now uh, I think lockdown definitely helped that the next year mate that's when I think most people like I really feel like, kicked it into gear because we had all this time man. yeah was nothing was happening so it's like committed to it you know but I came back from lockdown like committed to blowing more stuff off to go skate oh yeah because I was like well look at all the skating you got done when nothing was happening wouldn't it just be wonderful if nothing could happen more it's like you should have COVID again and get paid for it man <laughs> like I don't want COVID again but a lockdown again mm. I know that's like you can't you can't just lock down Wow. It was I mean, really can, good. There's nothing stopping you from spending a, like a solid week in your house. Doing Take nothing. into account, obviously, the 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 uh, all the effects that lockdown had, negative or otherwise. Shit was empty, and that was bossing. It well, was for the skating, best. Yeah, you could go fucking anywhere. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Even when car t- car parks were bust, mm. you would just hang about for a while, and they'd be like, "Why do I even care? like? Why no, no, like, security I'm, guys like I don't fucking care. Like I'm that. literally getting. I'm like one of the only people at work right now. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. And I'm on I'm the, the only person. Like, and I'm on the night shift. Like, yeah. Just don't scratch the paint. Being a COVID <laughs> security guard must have been so dark. <laughs> oh, dear. So, um, going on to that, so the topic of uh, today's episode is Edinburgh. That's why I got you guys to travel all the way through from Edinburgh to Glasgow. Mm-hmm. Nice. And um, <laughs> pretty much what I was going to talk about is how it is like skating in Edinburgh. So, we all, as we all know, um, skating in Edinburgh is like the equivalent of like playing skate too if you've played that game where it's like you play it and like all the caps are like all the spots are like capped and just <laughs> unskatable you gotta at hire, all uh, what was his face Big Cheese or something oh uh, like, Big Black <laughs> no, no, that That's would be it, big the black. Edinburgh version Sorry, of Big Black would be Big, big, big Cheese, cheese yeah. <laughs> that is so true yo fuck Edinburgh so, you know. as, as you guys big have time. been skating for like the past like you know five to ten years um, how would you compare Edinburgh like skating between five to ten years ago to like now has it like changed for you a lot because it definitely has for me I wasn't there five ten years ago I mean I was there five years ago but for me at the beginning it was very much like who the fuck is this guy like uh, obviously it's a, a podcast and if you guys don't know who I am I'm quite short for a skater and for a, per- for a dude in general so when it came to like learning to skateboard and having the support to be honest I, I really didn't get much support until I met you guys like mm-hmm. the Bristow mm-hmm. crew the guys that have always been there, like you guys have been the ones that have been like, yo, Ollie's sick, like push his skateboard and get him better. Not like. I think that's kind of how the like the whole wheel turns. You know, it's yeah, everyone feels, especially being the age we are, five, 10 years ago is maybe when a lot of us were like coming into skating a bit, taking it a bit more like a bambi. seriously. But yeah, it's yeah, more yeah, of a yeah. hobby than just a fucking thing in your garage. Yeah. And then yeah. five, 10 years ago, maybe it was a bit different because a lot of us were still friends with like, School people and people yeah. you just call them normies, Miles. Yeah, the normies. Fucking mudbloods. They don't. <laughs> listen, I'm gonna get serious for a second here. They don't know. You're, you all looked where I'm pointing. Like you they said, can well, see it on the. Pointed. Mate, they, they don't, don't know. Us, man. There's no about dedication, <laughs> about blood, sweat, and skate park dust in your cuts. No yeah. way, man. Oh yeah, we were saying that literally as Metal. soon as we got off the bus, we were walking down the street and I was just like, oh, ledge, ledge, yeah. rail, uh, <laughs> kicker, ledge, street spot, mani pad. Totally, and you learn that in like, so 
to answer your question, Dave, five, ten years ago, I it's shite. So it was a bit <laughs> shiter. And as all of us was, come to and start actually getting good at skating, you make a community with people. And actually, it's way better now, despite not always having spots to go to. I'd say, like, ironically, like, you know, because, uh, you know, obviously we had the old Bristol Square. Mm-hmm. And that was, like, see, the main hub. At all. Oh, man. It was, was the shredders from that. I see all the clips from that, like, early 2000s, people just shredding that and getting really yeah. good at it. I'm like, man. I wish that was still there because I feel like that was our problem. It's like talking about five, ten years ago, and it's like that's a huge amount of skateboarding for us because, like, we've only recently had like things to go skate yeah. that are like actually good to learn on. Whereas before it was like we've got one ledge to learn on, and it gets capped half the year. It's yeah. like half a ledge if we're lucky. Yeah, about half it. a ledge. And exactly. we have to keep uncapping it as well. Which I was actually scared well. that Dave's first question there was going to be, "How do you think?" Edinburgh compares to other cities for skating and I was just there's no nice answer like I can't you can't you can put some glitter on a shit but it like (laughs) still got skate stops everywhere do you know what I mean I mean uh, St James Quarter yeah, oh, oh, that's, that's, that's useless. Well, well, so the they built one perfectly good ledge. Beautiful ledge. Do you Edward, remember that night that we got? Yeah, dude, that oh, was so good. We got good. like one night of just smooth uninterrupted, ledges. smooth marble ledges with like little rolly bits the little, and the, different heights. Yeah, little rolly ramp, bit, man. Little rolly like, you skate down it, you could like grind down it for anyone that doesn't know. Um, outside the new St. James Centre, uh, we got this new ledge built. It was like marble ledge. They didn't even need wax on it. It was yeah. fucking perfect. Yeah. Yeah. If you find a weird obviously, day. they're like, Edinburgh Council, we're, like, we're going to build something really sick for the skaters. That's <laughs> <Sick. Yeah. laughs> Oh, Sorry, you guys had this much fun in it? Not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. If you find the weird iron statue of two crickets, fucking you've found the right spot. So or, the, or the big foot. Or yeah. the I think, did they not foot. move the, the big foot? foot? No, the, they no, moved they it for the re- reconstruction. Uh, and they, put it back. they moved it down to Good London foot. Road. Um, like yeah, the start of it, like that grassy patch. They moved all the statues there. And then they just kind of moved it back. And yeah. like, we've got, you we've know got that? a load of weird fucking statues, like the giraffes. The giraffes are sick. Have the you ever shits. claimed them? Have, yeah, yeah, you can't skate them. Really? Oh, you can. <laughs> you're not, you're you're yeah, but you can't skate them. them. <laughs> you're, not, you're not from Edinburgh unless you've, like, no, we're not, like, one of the giraffes. I can. Yeah, that's true. That's our shit version of sticking the cone on the, the statue. That's, oh, that's our version. Yeah. Oh, I saw... Oh, Someone like, trying to replicate it. Is, so you know the statue that's, like, the start of Prince Street? Someone tried to put a cone on there, and it's, Nobody like... Cares, that, that, yes. that may be sad. It was, like, you know, let's just stop trying to copy Glasgow. Get our own thing. I saw the other day there, I was walking along, and I saw a bunch of tourists taking a photo of a phone booth mm. in Edinburgh and I was like <laughs> <laughs> you're a little bit lost there mate <laughs> like, you see, you're looking for London yeah because like all the phone booths I up here have been used for in the last booths. 10 years it's got, it was one of our phone booths it's just like a shitty glass box with yeah. no door yeah no door like, the windows like, are all blown out an old the, the curry BT, on the floor BT communication <laughs> yeah, logo dude. inside as well shin deep in fag <laughs> no literally I was not, not a word there. of a lie like uh, a couple of years ago my friend moved from Milan and we went on just like a tour down the streets walk I think we were in Gorgi area and you know where that like that cool little statue of like a cannon and there's like a girl standing next to it or something yeah, is that not she, next to like near the Gorgi farm yeah it yeah. is yeah yeah she uh, she was like looking at it she's like oh wow this looks so cool and weird why is this here and then like two feet next to it was um a phone box and I just opened it and there was a pile of human clothes, a heroin needle and a human shit. And I was just like, <laughs> welcome to Edinburgh. Good night. Got to yeah. copy leaves night. too much, man. Oh, you found my clothes? That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you shrunk that down, you'd have a diorama of the class structure problem in Scotland. Like... <laughs> All right, then I'll then just go dead air right after I, I say something. Say <laughs> Fine. That's all right. We might take that one out because apparently it sank like a lead balloon. <laughs> but he takes things easily. Yeah. Good, com- good comedian, yeah. that. Yeah, 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 I'm really yeah. calm and tell a, nice tell a comedian, <laughs> by the way. An okay joke on stage, and then you're like, fuck you guys. Yeah, yeah, you no, laugh. but do you know what's funny? I've never done that, and I hate comedians that do that. But I really want to do it because that's how I feel in the moment. I'm like, oh, all right, and meh, but like you have to just override that. As Dude, long as you turned that into a joke. I was gonna say it only works if yeah. the joke is really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're up there and you think you've told an amazing joke and it was like too long or something yeah. and no one quite got the reference, and then you're like, no, uh, fuck you. I don't have hey, to say it again. Like, do you hey, like, hey, let me just explain to you all the reasons code. why you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm funny. Fuck you. I'm seriously yeah. funny. Everyone <laughs> just throws their drinks at you. When so Dave says we're here with Miles, Max, and all at the start, I was going to be like, I'm Max, and it's my job to tell the jokes. Can you imagine you've done that? Can you fucking... <laughs> so, um, Max is a funny one. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> Miles is the cute one. Uh, Ollie uh, is the sexy, the sensitive one? one. We're such it's a BuzzFeed sexy, friendship sensitive. group. That's definitely me. We, I, I feel like we took a BuzzFeed quiz for those answers. Which, uh, talk about that. Which uh, member of the right friends group are you? He is like literally man spreading right now, and it's fucking triggering me I'm so bad. It. Do you know what my girlfriend asked me the other day? There, she was like, "Do men like die if they don't man spread?" And I was like, "Nah, but I do crush like, their Do actually get a little bit uncomfortable when I sit? Like, if I sat with my legs together forcefully, then like, yeah, I probably." wouldn't enjoy that but i'm not gonna die i mean it's just slightly uncomfortable but yeah. you know it's like i didn't think i was directing my man spread there is a table by the way in front of us I it's not like we're in a room that's just chairs i know there's no <laughs> cameras but <laughs> just facing into each other imagine that it was just like chairs just facing each other yeah, like i feel more like some more kind like of bus uh, bench or clinic. something i keep we'll peeking I keep peeking well, under the table. Under the table. <laughs> 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 Trying to see how wide Miles' is spread is to match it. Kill it. it. Right. You, you thought that was Dave's on, foot. That's my foot, foot, baby. <laughs> well, no, but because, yeah, it's so... A foot. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm not so good with the old social cues, I thought I'd just like mirror what Miles was doing. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll like, just get as relaxed as you get. <coughs> That's awkward. I was mirroring you. <laughs> mm. So uh, my next question is: uh, as I was talking about growing up as a skater in Edinburgh, uh, obviously for that time we were in high school. Mm-hmm. How was it like being a skater in high school? Because it's obviously a lot different now. Because skating was po- like quite popular compared to back then, about like True. ten years ago. I see dudes from from my school. Uh, maybe not from my year, maybe like who were like a few years below me. I've seen them, especially during lockdown, cutting about on skateboards. It was really strange. Mm. I used to get Tony Hawk all the time. I yeah. used to get Tony, oh, hey, Tony, how you doing today? Tony yeah, Hawk. Hey. And I'm like, you know, at that point I was riding BMX as well, so it was even dumber. I know. But like, have you, you ever had that someone shout Matt Hoffman at you? No, nah, because or they don't know who it is. <laughs> I've not got anything no. for bikes. They've got nothing. They're Shit. like, hey, yo, Ooh, Chris Lava. Hoy. Who like, think of this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's no called I'm Bike to Death podcast. So. Yeah, well. <laughs> fucking but yeah, no, I got Tony Hawk a lot. I got, uh, I think that's probably the extent of it. Did mm. you ever take your skateboard to school? Yeah, I used to ah, skate yeah. into school on a penny. I, I, like, I took my fucking skateboard to school a couple of times and just skated around the playground and it drew quite a bit of attention yeah. not that popular in my school wasn't doing it for that reason <laughs> a teacher comes up to me in the first lesson and did it's they like, kick off at you they told me they were like miles do you ride your skateboard to school and i was like uh no i get the bus i shred to school yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah i just have it i get the bus and they they were like okay well please don't bring it into school then i was like what that's yeah. strange because it's for transport uh, what about yourself, Ollie, man? Uh, were you were you skating when you were in high school? Nah, so yeah. I didn't really skate in high school, as I said, when I was like 13. I had like a penny board and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and I knew how to ollie. And when I got that board in Spain, that was in high school, but I was like 16 at the time. And I, again, I really, all I knew was ollie and, and I went to like a skate park maybe twice. And Just getting re- up curbs, that's all yeah, it's about. Like not even, mm. No, not even that, bro. That took wow. me years. <laughs> that took me years of like self-confidence. But um no, I think originally, like, you were talking about, like, s- skateboarders in uh, in high school. I don't know, for me, it was com- the opposite, because literally one of the coolest guys in my year, uh, not in the sense of, like, oh, he was in, like, the Roadman crew, because this is in England, so right. it's not the same as, like, here. Right. Um, the, it was he wasn't necessarily in the roadman crew or anything like that but it's he was getting like, that way he listens yeah. he was like a, he was an emo kid he listens to metal and stuff and he, he was had the long, coolest he had kid long, he was the coolest fucking dude in, in, a, in my year <laughs> Mate, in my that opinion. kid and got fucking killed in schools over here yeah, yeah no like sure. one of the one of the first uh days of uh like going to that school he was like oh i'm gonna show you guys this video of me skateboarding and i was like oh that's kind of sick and then it's just a clip of him all in down like an 11 set and he breaks his leg oh and shit. it's just a video of him like ah, ah like that and the everyone in the class is like whoa and the teacher's like why are you showing that and i was just like i want to fucking do that <laughs> i want to fucking do that that's so uh, sick <laughs> Speaking of that, man, I was like, one of my next questions was going to be like, you know, like, I was going to say the worst injury, but like, what's the funniest injury? And I know yours, because ours is kind of related. Um, Dave, you've every other week you've got a broken leg, man. I know, man. <laughs> so one of the last times uh, I broke something, uh, I broke my rib, and this is when we're at Bristol, and at Bristol we do have a piss spot, I'm not going to disclose that. Uh, Wait, oh, we've got a couple. Though. Yeah, we do it? have a couple. Yeah. The piss but, uh, yeah, it depends either. what kind of mood I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was absolutely dying for a piss, so I was like pushing mouth, Mac sorry. ten on my board to the piss spot. <laughs> and then Max is coming the opposite direction, and I see him. So I would do what any good friend would do, and like you know, squeeze his nipple. And he's like, "What are you doing?" So I look back, I'm like, 
Uh, what are you doing? And I just fucking collide right into a lamppost. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, you know, like cartoon style where like all your limbs are just kind of like sticking out like that. That is so good. Is your Dave face imprinted in that lamppost? Correct. Sold himself around this lamppost. I turned round to be like, hey, and oh, it was so weird. This was couple were there. You're sitting there clenching your nipple uh, like, Dave, you bastard. But Dave, it, wasn't that when I did my rib? No, as well? it was, it was, it was like, about two days in it. No, I think it was like maybe like a couple of weeks after. Oh. And you did it, and like, I know, I, first I kind of felt bad for you, but also I was just kind of like, the first thing I said was like, <laughs> yeah. I, Good. So the two the rib crack that I did before that was I was on the phone and I got cocky. You know when you're you know when you're skateboarding around, you're at the spot and you've answered your phone and you should just stop and stand where you are. You're rolling around. But you're rolling around yeah. and then you're like, Oh, I'm a bit bored on this phone call. So you start like injecting some sauce into it. You know, I'll do a little bit of manny maybe, maybe a nose manny, maybe a little nose manny. Maybe just I'll just do a, a bit little too much sauce into that. Yep. Mm, yeah. Maybe With I'll just hand hit a rock to your ear. And yeah, yeah, we had to balance, man. I know. And then so I hit a little rock and I fell into one of the little ledges with the skate stoppers and just put two of my ribs about an inch further into my body. I was like nice. <laughs> Lovely. And this uh this lovely there's a there was a couple um There's always a couple the same couple. No, no, no. <laughs> they just walk in so no, mine's Bristol Square, man. For skaters breaking their ribs. Yeah. Mine was a couple of girls. They, I was gonna say a lovely couple of girls because they were really fucking nice about this. Like they could have been horrible, but they had a, a gentle giggle and then saw me go <laughs> oh, that's... and like checked that was all right and then continued to laugh like with me. So I was like, You guys are nice about this. They like picked my skateboard up, helped me pick myself up. But I was like <laughs> you know when you like bur- like I really had one like you're wheezing you kind of like wounded yourself and like. so when Dave did it like th- not even two weeks later by like squeezing my nipple I was like <laughs> oh you didn't deserve that for that <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that's bad. your pain yeah I was just saying that like the couple that came up to me were asking if you're right and I'm like yeah, what if our what if our pals came up and like you know see what was happening? He obviously, didn't see anything happening. <laughs> I just looked at the couple. I was like, "Did you just float?" I was like, "No, no, 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 no they're just making sure I'm okay." Go get back. This go dude get back. Body, Dave. Get back. I want to see his nipples more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, wow. I've uh, I've definitely had the embarrassment thing where people see you fall. I was going down the mound, which. Oh, it's, crust. It's, it's a it's lovely a big hill but it's the pavement's kind of narrow and busy and the road itself is pretty gnarly what time around was that like? uh, oh man this was maybe like 6pm so 7. fucking Bad time, still yeah. pretty busy <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I, I was keeping my eye but I just I was bombing it down this hill and I was going all the way down to uh, you know like Dundas Street as well so I was just on a downhill journey big steep one you were just fully sending it that day. so I had all this adrenaline going and I was bombing it and I get to the bottom of the mound like I've made it um, but right as that you know right at that moment a bus is turning in so I quickly just like skirt to the to the pavement and obviously there's like a big divot or something and I catch it and I just go like soaring um and I've got my bag on and my bag flies off me. All my shit falls out of my pockets. There's just like, you know, like just detritus around me. And all these people who usually just sort of, they, use, they always take a minute to just stare because they're like, well, he's a skateboarder. So he probably knows what he's doing here. Yeah, yeah. But I'm literally just like writhing on the floor. And I often when it's a fall that bad, I just lie down and take a second to accept my yeah. fate. And just I'm like, fuck this. And usually someone at that point is like, you all right? <laughs> Get the fuck and you're like, no, no. <laughs> hold up a thumb, and then in my panic because I was well, not panic, but because I was like, fuck, I've just that's so embarrassing. Pick up all my shit, put it in my pockets, get back up, lay the board down, and tank it again. Just oh, absolutely no. fucking oh, fall right fucking back on my face. Yeah, no, when shit you're all discombobulated, <laughs> and I've got a big, you know, the like this. Um, I'm I'm regular, so my my left side was just fucked. So I had like a hip lump, yeah, you know, uh, and my knee was all scuffed. And this was from trying to get off the board. This yeah. was all from just like getting onto the pavement. The the hill was not the issue. Mm. So embarrassing, man. It's the fucking skateboarding. Like that's the equivalent, I guess. You go to a bar, order a drink, and you turn around, you dish the drink, and then in the process of trying to catch the drink, you like flip it even harder into the ground. Smack someone else. Oh drink no, I'm something. so sorry. I'm just fumbling the bag so hard. Sorry about your jacket. You're just still. tripping along, <laughs> just pathetically fucking fumbling the bag, and no one else cares. But you've got it in your own head that this is the most like. 
You know those cartoons where they've tried to find a way to make the character seem like they're just having the absolute worst <laughs> sequence? Yeah. Like, it, it just gets worse and worse, and you trip, and you're like, oh, I've re-hurt the thing, and now my headphones are caught in my fucking wheel, and my yeah. jacket's all on funny, <laughs> and my bag strap's tangled. Yeah. Oh, God, and everyone's looking at me, and it's this just getting worse and worse. It's just sound, compounding. The sound of a skater spiraling. That's what that is. Yeah. <laughs> and, and everyone's looking. Way. I didn't look rad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I looked really, really not good. And we are a lot of the time trying to look cool. Yeah, yeah. No, literally, yeah. Oh, like, fuck yeah. That's the worst part. You, you're like, Thank look you at boys. this fucking massive ollie over this curb. Yeah. And then I'm you cruising. just like tank it completely and then someone stops and goes, ha ha, ha. <laughs> fucking first ollie, thing man. you do is like, all you want to do is cry. You I just, just want to sit there and fucking cry. But, <laughs> but no, you're like, you're like, no, I'm going to get back up. I'm going to do it again. And then the thing happens where you fall over and you're like, y mm. I I'm just going to find a bridge. And it's like, what is that? I'm trying to prove to them that I Sorry, do know how to skate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're trying to do that. It's like, yeah. have you ever tried, like, you know, if you're trying, like, maybe learn a switch trick or try something like switch and then someone just looks at it, it's like, you can't even fucking skate. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is what I usually say. Yeah. And then you got to think, it's like, if I really want to go through this, so I have to go up to this complete fucking random, explain what <laughs> switch means. It's like, when, it's like when fucking cunts uh, shout, do a kickflip at you. Yeah. No. That part of me fucking wants to how many times just to prove I can do you feel like you're getting judged yeah. someone, someone's yeah. actually paid me a fiver or some drunk guy because like, I usually say that a lot it's like oh do a kickflip and I'm like kind of sick of hearing it sometimes yeah. I'm in the mood for it and you got a beer like, geezer fire, or geezer beer geezer beer and, like, I've, had a, I've had a beer from someone before I've had a sip of their Hennessy man they're fucking <laughs> that's that a that good day. deal and someone gave me a fiver anything over everything <laughs> and then I had just one guy that like one threatening to batter me uh, <laughs> like because I was well, I don't know if it's I, could you uh, not land I wouldn't kick flip or oh, I was right, being was cheeky about it. But um, yeah. I know you, Dave. You were definitely being cheeky. <laughs> why is he being cheeky? I mean, to hey, be fair, the guy, why is he being the cheeky? Guy was like three times the size of me, and obviously, look at my BMI. I'm like, I could fucking take this guy easy. <laughs> <laughs> skate around this boy. I'm a skater, man. I'm not to be fucked. But with. Yeah, have you ever felt though, like I I mean, the kick, do a kick flip thing aside. Do you ever feel like you're skating along, or like you're not even skating along? Say you're at a spot, and someone just stands there. Some. Some some normie Norman some type, loser. right? Mm. Just yeah, just some loser. <laughs> Whatever you close your eyes and see is that like loser. Another muggle. Yeah, just yeah, just imagine that loser. I'm not gonna describe anyone. I don't wanna make anyone feel bad. I'm yeah. gonna describe them in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but you're getting, you know, stared down by some Paul is about to ruin this whole man's career. You're getting stared yeah, down yeah. by some fella and, you know, three pieces of tweed and uh <laughs> And, you know, but you're getting stared down, and it's like it's almost like they're flexing on you. If if feeling cool was the currency, it's you'd be like, like kick flip, in a negative. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's our. Standard. You'd be sitting they're there like, with a oh, with I've an overdraft, and you'd be deep like, in it. But you can't do trays, though. Yeah. Well, speaking of, I can't fix that. <laughs> yeah, I can't do trays. Cut Dave's, that one. Cut that. Dave's cut trays that. are lit. That, yeah. yeah. Dave's trays are lit. Dave's got trays for days. Someone else saying the word kick flip. What? Huh? What? Huh? All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Let's see what's next. So, so you get the country flip says what? <laughs> what? Who? I I cannot tray flip for the record. So. I can't either. That's why that's <laughs> so funny. Laugh, funny boy. <laughs> Dave, have I ever said... No, I'm not. I'm not oh, that one we'd have to take out. Before you move on, I was going to say, yeah, I'm describing okay. that, that normie dude, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> Jamie, got it you, guys, you guys brought this up. You guys brought this up, and it made me think, when I was working in terror recently, uh. this guy came in, clearly some rich kid, like, he looked like a skateboarder, but his clothes were at least... Like his t-shirt was three hundred pounds. His shoes were like six hundred. You got thrasher, that kind of thing, right? Hoodie. He fucking he's not even thrasher. I think he was, was like thrashing about fucking, that place. Uh, Skateboard mag. What's merch. that <laughs> company that we, you were talking about? The other day, like pleasure or something? Oh, that's not a skate. Is it? No, no, that's what it's it like. Sort of like a hypebeast kind of brand. Pleasure. Like what? Pleasures. What brand are they doing? Something pleasures. pleasures. It's just remember. called pleasures. That's it, right? Anyway, um, or what was the, I can't remember the other one. But um, I don't remember that. But. Anyway, he was wearing clothes we don't. Yeah, like. so he had clothes that we've we've decided right. are an arbitrary Comments. marker of wealth. We're so in, we're in this shop that basically sells a load of hippie gear and you know what else gets sold Para in there. I've bought Finale. crystals from that shop and not like the kind that you yeah. no like no <laughs> the, the kind that crystals? heal you the kind that heal you yeah. and, and make look at you now. The girls with dreadlocks interested in you. you. The big, like, like an egg. Is it, is like it the power of No, those are like orbs. If, no, I want like an orb. Is it like the power? <laughs> you want an orb to go up your ass? No, yeah. Yeah? Well, what's going to stop that happening? 
Are we, no, I just want scale? an orb to ponder, but upon pondering it, you know, I might form a connection. He's pondering your physical orb. connection. Anyway, yeah. back, yeah, to, this back guy. to this fucking right. guy. So this fucking guy, man. In was it shop? Max who came in the shop by any chance? <laughs> I'm sitting here wearing a hoodie that they don't like. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, he comes in and he sits down, or he doesn't sit down. He comes up the desk. And he goes, "Oh man, it's so funny. Have you seen those skaters out the back there, like around the other side of the park? These like middle class skaters doing all their tricks in there." Middle and I class skaters. He and I'm like, Oh, dude, do you know what? It's even funnier because there's plenty of people that skate that they're not middle class. They're upper class. They've got everything handed to them. They don't even own a flat themselves. Their parents have bought it for them. But also, he jumped straight off on that. Yeah. yeah who launches off class? Cares, I know, man. And I was like, who I am you? those people. Yeah, but... Please no, leave. Uh, eat the rich. Fuck. Eat the rich. <laughs> I, I passed that. Told him, no I was like, man, you, you are Pass clearly that. the problem. Like, that if you had sick. a skateboard in your hand, like, you would just be cringy as fuck. Just like all the other rich boys that come to the store. I swast, feel like... Wearing like, their rich clothes. And you're like... Mm. I feel like that, though, wait, you talk about the I, I don't know if I want to say his name but it's like one of the people that own one of the tweet shops on I don't know if it's Coburn Street or I know Victoria exactly Street. who you're talking about you know about. what I'm talking about yeah. yeah he doesn't place in the final just fucking rage quits I have never uh, placed in a comp in a comp neither I've never been I've never oh, been no, I in have, a comp I've been, been in one comp. maybe but like yeah, I like jams. Yeah, never like a full on. Oh man, like yeah, it's like when it's a proper like you know heated like competition where you get put in the heats and that, and it's like you got like so and so time to skate. It's like I'm not hating on people that do or hate the people organise it. It's just not for me, man. It's I like, I've never been so out of breath when I yeah, I've that's what I mean. Like I've literally yeah. lacked the fucking like five minutes, man. <clears throat> Consistency yeah. and stamina are things I lack in skateboarding. So. Yeah, because we skate Bristol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was just gonna say that we all push each other, uh, push each other and ourselves pretty hard when it comes to skateboarding but yeah. I, I would say on the majority we've never been the kind of people to be like right let's skate for like seven hours straight we're not on the biggest ramps and but like, we yeah, get we get our break halfway air. between yeah we, we get we get a little treat for four, four we and a half for hours <laughs> on the ledge and then we'll sit down and have like a couple of drinks and then we'll get back to it we're never like oh man like i'm gonna throw this massive trick in the air and like hype people up like that's sick but at the same time when it, the bristol vibe i feel like it's yeah, very yeah. very relaxed all right um, so I was flash. gonna. So I've got one thing to do. Um, we're gonna make it a wee bit interesting. I don't know if it's been done on this podcast yet or not, but we're gonna do a wee bit of two truths and one lies. So everyone goes around and gives two truths and one lie. We just need to quickly suss out which one is the lie. Who is I'm talking the most shit? So, so who wants to go first? Not me, because I've not come up with one as of yet. But if. Um um, one of the other home dogs. I'm usually to, pretty good at two truths and a lie, but I sometimes struggle because the lie is so obvious and vulgar. And also, Max always lies. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bad liar. We don't even know his last it's name. Like I'm Jay six foot MP tall. Fucking <laughs> shit. Yeah, I'm six I'm, foot tall, ripped. I have a healthy looking beard. <laughs> my sun kissed skin glows in any light, and my hair is really healthy and thick. And I'm definitely not got a receding hairline. I would say you're here. No, no, that wasn't that wasn't two truths or a lie. That was literally just a stream of lies. <laughs> um, I'll give you two truths and a lie, right? So I've never snapped a board, like ever. Okay, that's a good one. I I think it's good. I <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> I said that one too confidently. Eh? Mm -hmm. mm. Snapping a board, yeah. too obvious. Just yeah. Yeah. make them all skateboard related. That will keep you. On oh, track. okay, yeah. Um, I nah, because the only thing I can think of skateboarding wise is like which Stan Sam, and that's like the easiest thing. Well, like what tricks you done? Or do you feel? Tell you that, if someone else goes first, give me a here, No, 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 it's a good what? bit. I just need to think for three seconds. Right. I tried to think Listen. of it on the way in, but like I said, I keep like coming up with bad ones. <laughs> okay, two tricks and a lie. Okay, I've never ever snapped a deck. I skate regular, and I only learned how to tray flip in the last year. Oh, I think I've got this. You, you uh -huh. skate. I mean, you skate your food. So, so that's the lie. That's the fucking lie. That's the lie. Nice one. We right. know you, Max. But also, the only deck I've ever snapped wasn't while skating it. I was going to say, because, um, when you, because, um, <laughs> wait, have you snapped a deck? Then? I have. Yeah. Because I've successfully snapped a skateboard, but not from like doing tricks. Mm. Like, I've like, just... I've like just jumped on a skateboard that someone was like, get yeah, the, the trucks were seized on. But yeah. I've like, <laughs> so I've got the minerals. <laughs> I've just never managed it. Mm -hmm. You've got that fucking <laughs> minerals. Got a fucking minerals, you slag. Let's move on to the next one, Ollie. Is it one that I can fondle? I s and yes. break my rib? Yeah, that's, <laughs> um, that's what it's there for. Yeah. Dave's cruising for another bruise. Exclusive purpose. I've had quite a few people actually ask to grab it. 
which is a weird So thing. that's the truth. It's always, yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't even really think that. Yeah, guys, I'll just tell you now. It's true. So, Gee's a lie and a truth, then? Uh, a lie? No. Um, so, two others. I skateboarded when I was three. Possible. Mm. <sighs> Fuck. I wish you'd have prepared this. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dave. No, uh, that's all right. Wow, Max, can you take over for me? Because I yeah, don't actually so, know how to lie. Okay, uh, I'll lie for you. Ollie, would you um, Let's make up a lie. So, Ollie went to college in 2016 for a fine clownery course. He mm. went to the Clown College of oh, the yeah. Highlands and Islands. I remember that. And he's actually one of the best jugglers I've ever met as a result of that. How many um, balls? How many balls, generally? Fat balls. How many balls is each? Oh, balls sorry. are for rookies, Knives, mate. Flame, Knives, flame, uh, those weird skittle-looking things. Skateboards. No, people. <laughs> yeah. People doing tricks. Juggling oh. people's opinions and expectations. You know where people do those things where they lie on their back and they do like a tray flip upside down? Yeah. I do that, but the guy's on my head. That's awesome. And then I'm juggling like the other two people. Right, and like college the really paid off. final lie is... So, Ollie did the biggest boneless I've ever seen down a stair set. Um, that's or a is truth. That that's a truth. Cap. That's that a lie. Cap. That's got to be the truth. That, <laughs> that was the truth. That's a lie. That was the biggest boneless I've ever seen down a stair set. That is actually, yeah. Uh, Mate, I'll, go go I'll go real quick. Yeah. I'm going to steal, steal your one, Max, because uh, I like it. I'm going to do the I've never snapped a board. I'm going to say I've never um, broken a bone. I guess we'll say things like arms, legs. <laughs> Those types yeah, of toes bones. and fingers don't count. Well, I've, I've, well, oh, your skull. I'll let you guess. <laughs> never snapped a board, never broken a bone, and I um never known a lover's kiss in the rain. I've never done a. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's also. Weird. I've never done it in the rain. Never yes. broken a bone, and I've only ever done three tray flips, ever. That last one's the truth. All right, Dave, you got three truths, three three lies. Yeah, I do, shit. I'll go very quickly. Um, so, uh, lie to me, baby. Right. Um, when I was seventeen, I had to get a skin graft pull, so skin pulled from my arse on my hand because I fucked it from a hill bomb. True. I think um, you're just saying you fucked. I, my yeah. Hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucked my hand so hard I had to get a skin graft. It was a long year. I fucked my ass so hard they had to take I, the skin off. Uh, I had a, while I was working one night, I had a half an hour deep chat into really some deep, serious stuff with uh, Youngblood and I didn't know who the fuck he was. I thought it was just chance some random dude. I Unfortunately, so I think that's true as well. I think that's probably true with Dave. And uh, I accidentally, uh, during the Etnies demo in 2014, uh, knocked Willow's board onto the road. Uh, oh, that's yeah, also true. Because that I remember that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's got to be the young blood thing. Fuck that guy. That's a lie. No, that's actually true. <laughs> what is going on? Oh. Was it the first one. Uh, no, it was oh, the so it was, it was the, the knocking board. Board. Was the oh, one. Was the that was smart. Wow. You did inserted actually, a real world thing that yeah, happened. Say, did yeah. that actually happen? And you, you know what he did? He, he, I was he did his homework. Is yeah. what he did. He prepared for yeah, this okay, question. Yeah. He was too <laughs> came up with the concept. So. I actually prepared like <laughs> this whole thing like yesterday, but um, you know we went off topic, which I'm actually kind of glad because it just made it a bit more fun and fun. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, right, so we're running real low for time, so we've got about two and a half minutes, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put get a song from you each. Okay. And we're gonna put it on the playlist. Oh sweet! So, oh no, I've not checked the playlist. So what if there's doubles? No, Fuck you can just check it just now. Sorry, I just or just there's a song that you're listening to right now. That's right now. Do we want a song for skating? Uh, no, just any for any song that you're listening to right now. Okay, I think I I'm gonna tie it in with the skating. Like the first song that I go to just to kick me off. This well, I'll say over 2022 because that was you know that's just happened. Um, I was banging a lot of Fontaine's DC. Fucking right, man. Like I fell in mm. love with them last year. I went and bought all their records. Went and saw them live, got the t-shirt, was listening to them skating. And usually I listen to skating. I like to listen to like chilling kind of soul music, R&B, things like that. I don't really listen to like fast paced stuff unless I'm bombing hills. But when Fontaine's came on, I was banging the song Big mm. by Fontaine's DC. That's my song. Big agree. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've just got mine quickly. It is, uh, I'm going to put in uh, Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes, the song Get Go Get a Tattoo. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard it, but we're yeah. going to put it on the playlist later so mm. you get a ch chance to listen. Um, and for nice. you guys? Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of my serious offering, but <sighs> in the edit, can you just can you just start from here? Yeah, I think my, f my song right now, I'd, I'd probably put in the playlist Rick and Morty Drill. <laughs> 
I've actually made that's a fucking bang. Yeah, because totally yeah, because like you were gonna bring that up. I've got bare weapons in my inventory. Fuck the Federation, nah, I'm, uh, I'm trying to find the name. It's fuck actually the song I'm actually putting. <laughs> the song I'm actually putting in the playlist is "Age of Change" by Snowchild. It sounds like Aussie, but early Aussie. It's nice. cool. As in Osborne. Aye, yeah. nice. very cool. Yeah. Um, very cool. At the risk of sounding pretentious, my song is uh, "Gazeli" by uh, Hamid Hamid Al Shari. That's it. Yeah, like it's Habibi funk. So it's like Arabic funk music from the sort of 80s to 90s, early 2000s. And I just, I really enjoy listening to music that I don't know the, the lyrics of because I think it's something to do with dyslexia. Helps me process things a lot easier. Max, we were talking about something similar yeah, before I fall we came asleep, on the bus. I fall asleep to uh, shows in different languages because yeah. I can't accidentally get like hooked in on something yeah. that we're talking about. That's a good, I like that. And also mm-hmm. because I, it just surprised me from living in a, a very like Western culture, uh, especially recently where Arabic and Islam culture is pretty unaccepted or viewed upon in a very biased point of view. Um, listening to Habibi Funk, this sort of upbeat, campy vibe is beautiful. Uh, yes. Right, so uh, that is unfortunately the end of it. Um, sorry to cut you guys off. So, we are on yeah. very limited time here. Uh, wish we could speak for longer. Yeah. Uh, it's not unfortunate but, uh, that it's ending. Dave. In 30 seconds, just, you know, promote something, do something. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'd, sorry, I do comedy and nobody books me. So if you're a gig booker or a promoter, check out my email on my Instagram, max underscore logan96. We're going to link the Instagram there Thanks. as well. YouTube too. Uh, check out my band Sound Mind. Uh, Grunge from Edinburgh, three piece. I've uh, seen them. Band they're they're band fucking, they're fucking lit. banging. Man. We'll <laughs> they're put really that, good. We'll put that, that in the, the fucking uh, in the. You know, you know what I mean. Fuck <laughs> it. Oh, uh, I'd have to say the the place that I work right now, uh, Terra Firma. It's a uh, uh, like a head shop on Leith Walk. Uh, the people Hell in there yeah. are super supportive, super kind. I've never met more like minded people when it comes to creativity and like support of each other. I hear they um, give immaculate head as well. An immaculate head. <laughs> James's <laughs> head. Oh my god. Oh my That's why it's the head shop. Me in gonna for that. Stop head shop. He's going to be yeah. finding about this now, but yeah. Lincoln James's bio. head is. <laughs> Lincoln Park. <laughs> Lincoln Park. Bio. Max in Park. <gasps> And the last shameful promotion is uh, my new band, National Playboys. We're playing a gig nice. on the 22nd of January uh, at Whistle Binky. It's a free gig, so please stop by. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you, and bearing with our yeah, thank you very patter, much. shy or good, who knows. But uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Peace. Love.